<laughs> Understanding negative exponents. Okay, don't don't worry if this is hard at first. It'll get easier as you practice, like all of math. So what is equal to 1 over 4 to the ninth? Uh, when you have an exponent on the bottom, the way you can move it to the top is by making it 4 to the negative ninth. So that's the answer, just to keep it simple. But if you want to understand a little bit more about why that's true, um, there, there, there are different ways you can think about it. You could say it's the same thing as 1 over 4. So you could write this as, let me erase this, 1 out of 4 times 4, 9 times, right? And then that's the same thing as 1 fourth times 1 fourth, 9 times. And then each of these is just 4 to the negative 1. And then when you put them all together, you'll get 4 to the negative 9. But if that's too much, just, just go with, there's a 9 on the bottom, it becomes a negative 9 on top. Okay, so how about 3 to the 8th? There's a 3 to the 8th on the bottom, it becomes 3 to the negative 8th on top. There's a 4 to the 7th on bottom. The exponent becomes 4 to the negative 7 on top. There's a 9 to the 7th on the bottom, so it'll be 9 to the negative 7th on top. Okay, I think you guys get the hang of this, right? So I'm trying to think of ways I can slow down, right? Because I know it's it's tricky, so I'm trying to maybe try to figure out what might be tricky about it. So there's one over eight to the seventh, right? So um, you know you have a you have that eight, and then you have this negative seven, right on top. The seven turns to a negative seven, so it ends up being that one. Okay, how about 1 over 7 to the 5th? We're probably seeing the pattern here, right? We're just taking that 7, and we're saying 1 over 7 to the 5th is just 7 to the negative 5th. Okay, now here's a different one, right? Because this is kind of a backwards one. So 9 to the negative 7, that would have been the answer to if we had done a y to the, sorry, did I say y? 1 over 9 to the 7, right? Because the way we turn this into something that's not a fraction is we take that 7 on the bottom and we make it 9 to the negative 7. So the answer is 1 over 9 to the 7. It's just backwards from what we have been doing. So what's, what's the backwards from here? What would we have done before, right? 1 over 9 to the 5th will end up being 9 to the negative 5th. Because this 5 goes to the top and becomes negative. negative. 3 to the negative 4th? Well, that would have come from 1 over 3 to the 4th where that 4, when it moves up to the numerator, becomes negative. When you move, exponents, when they jump between the numerator and the denominator, change signs, right? So you could think of the 3 to the negative 4th over 1 as jumping to the bottom and becoming 3 to the positive 4th. And then 8 to the negative second, we can think of it as we have an 8 to the negative second, and we want to move it to the bottom, so we get 1 over 8 to the second. So it's this one. Cool. So I think that was focusing in on, you know, the negative exponents that 
drilling that one concept so that when you put it together with other concepts, it won't feel as intimidating. So there's a really good lesson here, which is if there's something in algebra you don't understand, drill it over and over again before you mix it with other stuff. It's like with music, right? If there's a piece of a song you can't play or sing, you try to practice that part over and over again. Okay, guys, have some fun. See you next time.